some older furnaces had a uh, fan limit control in order to control when the blower motor turns on and turns off and acted as a limit switch, kind of like that limit switch back there. So I want to take you in for an up close view of this, but first I just want to show you some of these have a, a push for manual. So if that's pushed in, then the blower motor is just going to continue to run. And if you pull it out, that's what's going to keep it on auto. When you remove the cover plate, you're going to see this dial and you're going to have three little temperature adjustments right here. The third one, that is the high temperature limit. So if this bimetal right here senses that the temperature is higher than 160 degrees, what's going to happen is the blower motor is going to continue to run, but it's going to shut off the gas. And this right here, you have it set at about 115 to 120, and that's when the blower motor turns on. And then what happens is right here, you should have this set for about 90 degrees. And so this is where our problem lies at. Either that this bimetal right here is kind of worn out due to expansion and contraction, or this temperature right here is set down too low. If this is set down near 70 degrees and it's 70 degrees in the house, then it's going to allow the blower motor to just continue and continue to run.